A lot of students ask me why we practice rudiments on the pad, and my answer is always the same. It makes our hands better, and it's vocabulary. But the truth is, there's some rudiments that translate very well to the drum set, and there's some rudiments that don't translate very well to the drum set. So in this video, I'm just going to break down some rudiments on the pad, and then show you how we can apply them to the drum set for fills, solos, and beats. Rudiments that do well on the drum set can be orchestrated in a way that sound like they belong there. Like when I'm playing rudiments on the drums, I don't want it to sound like I'm playing rudiments on the drums. I just want it to sound good. So here's some hand-picked PAS rudiments and newer hybrid rudiments that I think apply very well to the drum set. We're gonna start with inverted diddles, otherwise known as inverts. So it's kind of like diddles, like right, right, left, left, but we start with just one note and then we start playing the doubles. So an inverted right hand diddle would be right, left, left, right, right. I'll often put a little bit more weight on the right hand and keep my left hand a little lower. It just adds for a good feel. So inverts are good for moving around kind of anything. They're also good for beats. Or for a fill. All right, now the whole family of paradiddles. So we have single paradiddles, which if you don't know is para, which is like right, left or left, right. And then a diddle, which is right, right or left, left. So a single paradiddle is right, left, right, right or left, right, left, left. And these two things flow together very well. Paradiddles work really well when we start adding accents and taps to them. The most common place to put the accent is at the beginning of each paradiddle, and then we'll just play everything else lower as taps. Let's jump to double paradiddles, otherwise known as para-paradiddle. Right, left, right, left, right, right, or left, right, left, right, left, left. Same as before, if we start adding accents and taps to it, it makes it sound way more interesting. Then of course, we have the paradiddle diddle. This is the one that just feels so good to play. Right, left, right, right, left, left. Or left, right, left, left, right, right. It feels better just to play right hand over and over again or left hand over and over again. I'm gonna throw an accent on the first note of these once again. So the nice thing about all these different types of paradiddles, when we're really comfortable with playing them and moving between them, it's kind of like the secret weapon for flowing around the kit really quickly. A good place to start with this is just moving our accents around and letting them lead the way. So if I'm accenting the beginning of each group of paradiddles, I can just kind of let those accents influence my motion. I'm gonna do paradiddle, 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 diddle, paradiddle, diddle, paradiddle, downbeat. good paradiddle for a beat is para paradiddle. Say I follow my right hand with my bass, we'll see what happens. Next we have the egg beater, which is a fivelet. Right, 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 left, left, or left, 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 right, right. All right, with egg beaters, we're just gonna move our hands around a little bit. What if I put my left hand on the hi-hat and I sweep my right hand from the floor tom to the snare? Or if I keep my left hand on my snare and I move my right hand from the tom to the snare? Right, left, left. What if I put a bass drum after these? Let's talk about the putada, which is a rudiment I've talked about many times already. Putada is right, left, left, or left, right, right. Oftentimes we'll put an accent on the first note. Not always, you can move those accents around. Then we have the da da pa, which is like the pa da da. So we have right, right, left, or left, left, right. Putadas and da da pas, I mean, come on, these things just are begging to flow around the drums. Okay, one of my other favorites, the grandma. The grandma is right, left, right, right, left. The left hand is accented, everything else is a tap. Then we have the grandpa, which is the same thing, but instead we're accenting the first note and the last note.
Grandmas and grandpas around the kit just feel so nice. Like I'll go between the hats and the snare, add the bass on my hat notes, and then I'll play some paradiddles around it as well. What if I keep my right hand on the hi-hat and do a breakbeat kind of thing? The possibilities are endless. All right, so cheeses. So we'll have a right flam diddle, then a left, then a right. Flam, right, right, left, right, then the left hand, flam, left, left, right, left. Now flam fives are essentially a five stroke roll, but we have a flam as the first note. So we have like flam, right, right, left, left, right, or flam left, 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 right, right, left. Cheeses and flam fives go together very well. All right, now, hertas. These are classic. Just right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Or left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. You can put the accent wherever you want. They're usually played a little bit faster, kind of like a jolt of energy. I often put the accent either on the first note or the last note or both. You can do the whole thing on one drum, or you can move around the drums while you play them. Think about the direction that your hands are going. Are you going clockwise, counterclockwise, out, in? Again, works really well with the hi-hat or the stack. Okay, let's get into some of these triplet ones. So we have the classic Swiss Army triplet, which the skeleton for this is right, right, left, right, right, left. But that first note of each triplet is a flam. Make the space in between your flams big. Make it small. Do whatever you want. It's your flam. Now let's talk about left flam triplets and right flam triplets. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Same things over and over again, but you put a flam on the first note. Left flam triplet would be left, right, left, left, right, left, with a flam on the first note. These are fundamentally the same sound as the Swiss Army triplet, but the sticking is different, so it gives us different orchestration opportunities. Similar to this, we got the Blushta, which is kind of the same thing. So like the left hand version is essentially left, right, left, but the first note is a flam and the second note is a diddle. Flam left, right, right, left. And the flam drag is pretty much the same thing. It's just we're alternating between the right and the left back to back instead of doing the same one over and over again. Now to finish off these flams, let's talk about the flam tap. So we have a right flam and then a right tap and then a left flam and then a left tap. It's like diddles, but the first note of each diddle is a flam. Then there's the inverted flam tap, which is like the same thing, but it's inverted. So we have a right flam, left, left flam, right. So all these different flam triplet things that we just covered and flam taps go together very well. But just like anything else, I'm going to start with letting my accents guide me around the drums. So anytime I play an accent, that's when I'm going to move my hand somewhere else. Lushta. All right, let's talk about all the different roll figures. So I'm just going to cover five, six, and seven stroke rolls. The five stroke roll is just right, right, left, left, right. We oftentimes put the accent on the last note, but you can put the accent wherever you want. Here's some more sweepy stuff with the five stroke. Six, 
Six stroke roll is a little bit different. The first way we can play it is with a space in between some notes. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Again, be creative with your accents. I'm gonna put them on the first and the last note. The other way to play it is to take that space out completely and just play straight notes. So like right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right. That's hard to say. This one's a fantastic ram on the snare. Or you could put the single notes on different drums. Or we can take that space out like we talked about. Then we have the seven stroke roll. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, or left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Place the accents as you wish. So of course there are many more rudiments than what I just covered, so I highly recommend deep diving into rudiments, learning as many as you can, starting slow, being precise and accurate, and only speeding up once everything's perfect. Because with this, we need muscle memory to be able to use these creatively. We don't want to have to think about what we're doing while we're doing it. And then of course you can change them, take things out, replace a hand with a foot, do whatever you want. If it sounds good, then it's good. Start playing them over and over again and combining them together, then you'll start to flow, especially as you place your accents around, and create phrases that sound really cool. The techniques you learn from perfecting rudiments on the pad directly translate to your playing. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit the bell because I got new videos out every week. Be sure to check out the description for links to the free PDF of all the rudiments we covered today, as well as links to my website for lessons. I have my Instagram link down there and links to my music. All right, thanks so much for watching.